Okay, a lot of us have seen the videos on YouTube about this strange, weird snow that burns and um, melts like styrofoam. And that's what ice usually does. It should be water underneath right now. But as you see, it's not melting. It's, it's going to actually start deteriorating. Look at this. I've never seen anything like this. No water, no condensation, anything. And we have this blackness coming on it, as though there are particulates in it that are burning, burning black. The biggest number? Yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't smell like a snowball when you burn it. And can someone please tell me? Does that look like fucking snow? Is the snow char? Really? I, I don't think so. And it fucking stinks. So we're going to conduct a little test here by using three grades of water to see what type of result that we get when we apply the same methods that were used in the snow that were coming from other areas of the country. Now I live in New Mexico and we're in the desert here so we don't get much precipitation and consequently we don't have much snow. But the little bit that we did have back in, oh I think it was November, that snow lingered around the overpasses, the north side of the overpasses and the north faces of the Arroyo Banks through January without melting. Now, Albuquerque is about 5,000 feet above sea level, so it's exposed to a much higher concentration of UV light and therefore should be melting when exposed to sunlight more so than snow at sea level but that snow lingered for about three months while we went through periods of 50, 60, and 70 degree days, clear, bright, sunny days. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Three grades of water. We have distilled water, you see that? Which we're gonna pour in a cup, this white cup right here, and I've lined the cups with parchment paper so that when this solidifies into ice, it does not stick to the di dish and it can be easily removed. Parchment paper. And we're gonna fill the white cup with some distilled water. Okay, and we're gonna label it This is a little bamboo stick here. We're gonna label it with the D for the, whoops, the D for the distilled. Put it in here. This cup, the blue cup, blue. We're gonna fill with regular bottled drinking water. This hasn't been open. Okay, there I opened it. We're gonna fill this cup. Take the little skewer stick. Label it with the B for the bottled water. And like that. And I'm going to place them in the freezer. When I come home from work, they should be pretty solid. We're going to run that same experiment. So if we come over here to the freezer. Oh, and for the third, we're going to use regular tap water. It's my ice maker here in there and we'll be using an ice cube that comes from these uh, water from the city water system so you can watch me put the B for the bottle drinking water 
I'm gonna set it right here. And we're gonna take the D for the distilled water. And we're gonna set it right there. Out of the ice maker and put it right in that unlabeled cup there. And when I get home, when these things are thoroughly solidified, we'll run the same snow test on them and see what happens. Okay, it's been 24 hours, so let's get these ice cubes out. And the first one we'll take will be the purest form, which will be the distilled. See, we have the, see if you can see it here, the D for distilled. And we'll just take it out of this wrapper here. Okay, so we got the ice out of the dish. And we're going to do the same thing they did in the videos. Here. Okay, holding it up. It's clearly dripping. Getting some black residue in there, probably from the fuel, and it's turning black. Next, we have the ice from the bottle water. Give me a second here, I'll get it out of the little cup. Okay, we'll hold the lighter to it. Let's see. It's dripping, and we're getting a lot more black. A lot more black. But it's definitely melting and dripping. See that? All right, now we have the ice cube from the regular city tap water <clears throat> over here, and we'll light it. And it is dripping and melting. And we're getting black flakes in there as well. And if I rub the black onto this white paper plate, you'll see the soot coming off like that. And we have this blackness coming on it as though there are particulates in it that are burning, burning black. Now I decide to smell it, and what I smell at this point is burnt plastic, burnt polymers. I had my aide smell it, and I asked her, what does that smell like? And she said it smells like burnt rubber or burnt plastic. And it fucking stinks. I'm, I don't know what the fuck kind of smell it is. It's a chemical smell, but I mean, I don't know what the fuck it is. So, in conclusion, what do we know? We know that the most pure sample that we had here, the distilled water ice, does drip. and does leave a fuel residue on the ice cube and does leave black puddles, soot puddles on the plate. I don't think there's anything that we really have to worry about regarding the strange burning snow. However, I would look into something called ice nucleation.
which NASA is using as part of their weather modification, weather control, geoengineering program. It's a process whereby they seed chemicals into the upper atmosphere in order to freeze water droplets and moisture at much higher temperatures than it would normally freeze at 32 degrees. That's where I think we need to be concerned. The first reaction we're going to look at here is going to be the endothermic reaction. I have in front of you here two containers of white solids. The first one here in the Erlenmeyer flask is barium hydroxide. It is a hydrate, so uh, there are, is water stuck inside the molecule. The other chemical I have then here is in kind of pellet form. This is um, ammonium nitrate, the NH4NO3. Glue. Not glue. Frozen. 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 Ice on the outside. 